is Thursday, October 10th, 3 p.m. I've just been having sort of a work day today. Honestly, I feel like as a content creator, you're probably like, what do you do for a work day? Like how much work do you actually have? Which fair. I feel so lucky to be able to like clock in, clock out whenever I want. But I'm also a person who loves like structure, routine, and I kind of treat this job sort of as a nine to five. I feel like I sit down and do a lot of computer work and stuff all day, every day. I am someone that takes a really long time to edit things because I am a perfectionist and my editing takes me a really long time. But also with this job, I feel like I'm kind of working 24 seven. I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's a hard job, but that's not to say that I don't work hard. Besides editing for YouTube, which takes up a lot of my time, I also try to do a lot of like strategy work, kind of like trend research type things for TikTok especially. I'm kind of in this phase right now where I'm trying to figure out what I wanna post on TikTok and what is the most me and what I kind of wanna be known for. Because I feel like TikTok is sort of more niche. I've always kind of just been a lifestyle creator, but I feel like on TikTok, you kind of have to hone in to a few things that make you and your brand you. Kind of trying to figure that out right now. It literally is so stupid, but research for my job is scrolling through TikTok. But I do like to sit down and work. I don't know why I just went into a rant about that. I've honestly been really enjoying being at home and my routine here right now, which is kind of crazy to say because I was kind of planning to already be living in New York by now, but I'm just trying not to rush it. New York will always be there. I don't need to pick up and leave just because I just finished school and because it's the right or traditional thing to do. There's no reason that I need to stress myself out and try to get there as quick as possible. I feel like I'm always drinking something and never water. I'm gonna finish up the work I'm doing on my computer for the day. I don't have much left to do at all and I'm gonna go for a walk and potentially do a Pilates video. I need to find some sort of motivation to start doing workouts other than walking. If I don't have a literal workout class to go to, I'm so bad at dedicating my own time to actually do a workout. It just does not sound appealing to me. I wanna be better at that. I wanna get stronger. I was having this conversation with Cam last night because I've been having a lot of really bad neck and back pain and I know a lot of it probably has to do with my posture and the way I sit all day like hunched over at my screen on my phone. My back is killing me just sitting here right now. Cam told me that I don't really have any muscles in my neck and my back. And probably my core to support me. Therefore I'm having all of this pain because I genuinely just don't have any muscles. So anyways all that being said I really need to get into some sort of body strength training situation really affecting the way that I feel. So I'm gonna try to use that to motivate me. Friday. I'm just gonna sit at my desk and have a work day today. My hair is so greasy. I'm gonna oil it today. Recently, I've just been using the Miel Rosemary Mint hair oil. I use this on my roots. And then I use the OGX. Is this OGX? I use this coconut milk oil on my ends. This is quite thick, so I only really use it on days that I'm oiling my scalp. I talked about my whole hair care routine in a previous video, but one thing that I've been doing differently, I don't even know if I mentioned how often I wash my hair in that video, but I've been washing my hair every other day recently because I watched a whole hair health video 
video and this girl basically said that hair training is a myth which honestly makes so much sense you literally cannot train your hair to get less oily so i've just been washing my hair once it gets greasy i have super super fine hair so honestly it gets greasy like the day after but i hate washing my hair every day it's such a chore so i'll just do like every other day honestly my hair has been feeling so much better when i wash it every other day the ends just feel so much less dry when i was trying to stretch it out and wash my hair like once a week i was piling so much dry shampoo into my hair which is literally just like clogging my hair follicles so crossing my fingers that i'm finally doing the right things my hair will actually start growing because i want my hair to grow past this length that it's been stuck at for literal years okay let's oil i start by massaging my scalp with this bamboo brush which like stimulates blood flow question mark if you guys are interested i'm gonna put the name of the girl on the screen whose video i watched it was super in-depth and helpful Time to take advantage of this 80 degree October day. I have been cooped up inside all day. I didn't even know that it was 80 degrees, so. very cozy but productive fall Sunday. Spent the morning at Cam's editing. We got breakfast and coffee. It is insanely windy today. I want to say it's one of the coldest days we've had so far this fall. We've had some really warm fall weather, honestly. It's been so dry here. I was watching back some of my vlogs from last fall and I feel like the leaves were so pretty and colorful, especially at my house. I feel like this year a lot of them kind of just died and fell off the tree before changing color. A little bit warming. I don't know if that has anything to do with the trees and their cycle, but I have just been doing some editing. I have a burp lingering in my throat, but I do not know how to burp. I don't know how to do a burp with sound. I need to unpack from cams, kind of clean up my room for the week. I'm gonna walk on the treadmill at some point. I do not want to go outside. It's so windy and chilly. I don't want to say definitely, but I'm probably not gonna do a Pilates video today. Tomorrow, since it's Monday, I really want to start the new habit of strength training, Pilates, something. I'm gonna use you guys to hold me accountable. I 
I also need to get back into reading and journaling and using my mind in other ways besides my screens. It's one thing I'm really bad at and I do not take pride in that. My mom made some tortellini soup, so I'm really looking forward to having that for dinner. That's kind of my Sunday to do. Pretty chill, but still productive. tell while I'm at home. I primarily wear hoodies. What do you want? You want to go outside? Don't you dare get on my bed. Okay, I'm gonna go let her outside. I finally accomplished wearing heatless curls to bed. They actually turned out so well. I don't do it very often because I honestly get so overstimulated. So I always end up taking them out right before I fall asleep because I just can't get comfortable. But I was able to tough it out last night. I feel like it was kind of worth it. So I've been editing this vlog and just kind of recapping. I don't really go anywhere except for my house and Cam's apartment, but it's so hard because there's not that much to do in Madison and I'm perfectly fine doing things alone, like going places alone in New York. For some reason when I'm here, I like don't want to go places alone. It just gives me a lot of anxiety. I go to the grocery store alone, but I don't do a lot of other things alone. My family lives 45 minutes outside of Madison, so we don't really go do things there that often and Cam's schedule is so busy and time consuming. He's at the stadium most days from like 6, 7 in the morning to 9, 10 at night. Therefore, we don't really have time to go out and do things or go anywhere. When I'm in Wisconsin, I am just in a house 24-7. I feel like I should make it one of my goals to get out and start doing things. Like, am I a loser? I never have an occasion to dress up or even just wear a casual outfit. I'm just constantly in sweatpants and I have all these cute clothes. It makes me want to move to New York sooner, but at the same time, I love my life here and I fear I'm not ready to move away from my family and Cam yet. I also fear I'm not ready to spend, I don't even want to say how much rent is in New York. Thinking about spending that every single month just on rent and then I would have all of my living expenses on top of that. It's so scary. That's why I'm kind of pushing it off. That's where I'm at right now. Anyways, having some breakouts on my chin and like around this area. I am in my luteal phase. Is anyone else such a bitch in their luteal phase? I have the worst mood swings. Like it's actually concerning how irritated I get. I'm gonna finish up some work, maybe do a Pilates video and probably walk on the treadmill because mm, I should take my dogs for a walk. It's just so cold outside, but it'd probably be good for me to get outside. I'm going to go to cams later. I'm so excited for tomorrow for the new episode of Tell Me Lies. I'm also pretty sure it's the last episode in season two. So at the same time, I don't want it to come out because I don't want it to be over. I've seen people saying that the new season isn't coming out for like two years. It takes me so long to commit to a show because I'm like, what if it's not as good as this one that I watched before? I don't have any other shows that I'm watching right now. I probably watch one TV show a month and I'll watch it in the span of like two days. And then I'm like, I'm not ready to commit to something else because it's not gonna live up to that one. A TV show that's really good that I have watched four times now. I watched it myself. I watched it with my mom. I watched it with Cam and then I watched it with Issa. It's called Panic and it's on Amazon Prime, I believe. It is such a good show. I'm also so emo in my luteal phase. Mm -hmm. 